Before we can start building our menu in Flash with the submenu functionality, we have to change a few settings. The first step is to create a project in Flash. Select Action Script 2. Once you've done this, go to the Help menu and go down to Manage Extensions. In the Extension Manager, click on the Install icon at the top. Once you've entered your UDK home directory, go into the Binaries folder, then GFX, then Click Tools, and then select Scaleform Click. I've already installed it, so I'm going to cancel out. When you open it and install it, you need to close Flash and then open Flash up again to get it to actually work. Now we have access to the Scaleform Launcher panel. If you don't see it, go into Windows, then Other Panels, and go to Scaleform Launcher and it should appear. Now we need to set up a profile. To the right of Profiles, click the Add button. To the right of Player EXE, press the Add button again. Browse to your UDK directory under Binaries, GFX, FXMediaPlayer.xx. A dialog box may or may not open, telling you that the script is running slowly. Choose No. For your profile name, type FX Media Player. Once you've done all this, hit OK. This gives you a widget to test your action scripts. Scale effects won't show up in standard Flash players. The next step is to go to the Edit menu and select Preferences. Once in here, go to the Action Scripts tab. At the bottom, where it says Action Script 2.0 Settings, select that and add a new path with the plus button. Browse to your UDK directory and enter the folder Development, then the folder Flash, then the folder Action Script 2.0, and then select the folder named Click. Click the arrow button till the path you just added is just below the period. Hit OK. To change the Publish settings, go to the File menu and scroll down until you see Publish settings. Deselect HTML, we will not be using this. And under the Flash tab, find the drop down menu next to Player and make sure that Flash Player 8 is selected. Save your file as SF-UDK menu.